SpaceX has achieved in less than two decades what big aerospace companies like Boeing and Lockheed Martin could not accomplish in their entire history. More than anything else, SpaceX introduced the idea of reusable rockets, completely changing the space industry. Before SpaceX, rockets were used only once, meaning every launch required a brand new rocket, making spaceflight extremely expensive. In 2015, SpaceX became the first company to land a Falcon 9 booster after launching it into space, proving that a rocket's first stage could be reused. This breakthrough immediately changed the way rockets were designed, and now every major space company, including new startups, is working on their own reusable rockets. However, SpaceX didn't stop at just recovering the first stage like Falcon 9. They wanted to take reusability further by making the entire rocket reusable, including the upper stage that continues the journey after the first stage separates. Instead of testing this idea on a small rocket, SpaceX built Starship, the largest and most powerful rocket ever made. Starship is designed for full reusability, meaning both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship itself will land safely after every flight and be used again. This is important because making rockets reusable dramatically lowers the cost of space travel, allowing SpaceX to launch more missions and eventually send humans to the Moon and Mars. The full Starship system is 121 meters tall and 9 meters wide, making it the biggest rocket ever built. The Super Heavy Booster has 33 Raptor engines, each producing about 230 tons of thrust, giving the rocket a total power of 7,600 metric tons at liftoff. This is nearly twice as powerful as the Saturn V rocket, which took astronauts to the moon in the 1960s and 1970s. The second stage, called Starship, is designed to operate in space, carrying cargo or passengers. It has six Raptor engines, three designed for use in Earth's atmosphere and three optimized for space. Because it needs to survive the intense heat of re-entering Earth's atmosphere at high speeds, it is covered with thousands of heat shield tiles that absorb heat and prevent the spacecraft from burning up. By 2023, SpaceX had already conducted many static fire tests and short test flights, but those were only for individual parts of the system. The real challenge was testing the entire rocket together. This is why SpaceX launched the first full Starship flight in April 2023 and has continued making improvements with every test. The first attempt at launching Starship and Super Heavy together was an exciting moment in spaceflight history. The rocket lifted off successfully, but many problems occurred during the flight. The launch pad was damaged because the rocket's powerful engines blasted away the concrete underneath, creating a huge crater. Several engines failed during ascent, making the booster unstable. The booster failed to separate from the upper stage, causing both stages to lose control. The flight termination system, which is designed to destroy the rocket if something goes wrong, did not work immediately causing a delay before the rocket was safely destroyed. After this test, SpaceX made many changes to prevent these issues from happening again. For the second flight, SpaceX introduced several upgrades, including a steel water-cooled plate under the launch mount to absorb the power of the engines and protect the pad. They also introduced a new hot-stage separation system, where Starship's engines ignite while still attached to the booster, allowing for smoother separation. This time, the rocket lifted off successfully without damaging the launch pad. Booster separation worked correctly, unlike the first test, and Starship flew higher and farther into space than before. However, the Super Heavy booster lost control and exploded after separation, and Starship was lost due to a communication failure before it could complete its mission. Even though the flight didn't go perfectly, SpaceX considered this a huge success because it proved booster separation worked and showed Starship could reach space. By the third flight test, SpaceX made more upgrades based on the lessons from the previous flights. The focus this time was to test re-entry and see if Starship could survive the heat of returning to Earth. Starship reached space successfully and completed its planned flight. It survived re-entry for the first time showing that the heat shield worked. Booster performance improved, but it was intentionally destroyed after separation. However, Starship lost communication just before landing, preventing a full recovery. 
Despite this, the third flight was SpaceX's most successful test yet, because it showed that Starship could survive coming back through Earth's atmosphere, an important step toward making it fully reusable. The next major goal for SpaceX is to land the Super Heavy booster in the Gulf of Mexico for the first time. They will also further improve Starship's landing accuracy, bringing the company closer to achieving full reusability. SpaceX is already planning a larger version of Starship that will be wider and more powerful. Musk has talked about an 18-meter-wide Starship, which would carry four times as much cargo as the current design. A taller rocket would allow more fuel to be stored, making longer missions possible. More powerful engines, possibly an improved version called Raptor 3, could generate 300 tons of thrust per engine, increasing performance. Stronger heat shields would help Starship survive multiple re-entries without needing replacement. If SpaceX builds an 18-meter-wide Starship, it could launch entire space stations or moon bases in a single mission. Starship is not just about sending satellites into space, it is designed to take humans to Mars. To do this, SpaceX plans to launch 1,000 Starships every 26 months when Earth and Mars are closest. However, with the current 9-meter-wide Starship, this would require thousands of refueling missions in orbit. A larger Starship would make the process much easier and cheaper, allowing fewer launches to transport the same amount of cargo and people. SpaceX's long-term plan includes building refueling stations in space so Starships can refuel before heading to Mars. They also plan to create permanent bases on Mars with supplies delivered by Starship. Since it is not practical to carry fuel all the way from Earth for the return trip, SpaceX wants to produce fuel on Mars using the planet's resources, allowing Starships to return to Earth. This is the biggest space project in history, but Starship must first prove it can launch, land, and refuel reliably. Despite the progress, several challenges remain. Starship is not yet fully reusable, every flight still requires a new vehicle. Although Starship is designed to lower costs, each test still costs hundreds of millions of dollars. More customers are needed to make the project financially sustainable. Beyond NASA's Artemis missions, few companies currently need a rocket this big. While SpaceX is making history with reusable rockets and record-breaking launches, its biggest competitor, Boeing, is struggling to stay in the game. Boeing's Starliner program, which was supposed to be NASA's backup for crewed space missions alongside SpaceX's Crew Dragon, has faced endless problems, delays, and financial losses. Now, Boeing is reportedly looking to sell off the program entirely. The Starliner spacecraft was meant to take astronauts to the International Space Station, just like Crew Dragon. But from the start, it has been one disaster after another. In 2019, its first test flight failed to reach the International Space Station due to a software malfunction. Boeing had to redo the mission, causing years of delay. Even when it finally reached the International Space Station in 2022 without crew, it still had technical issues. The real embarrassment came with Starliner's first crewed mission in June 2024. Two astronauts were sent to the International Space Station for what was supposed to be an eight-day mission. But within days of docking, engineers found multiple helium leaks and thruster malfunctions, serious problems that could affect the spacecraft's ability to return safely. Boeing and NASA kept delaying the return, hoping to fix the issues while Starliner remained attached to the International Space Station. At first, they said it could stay for 45 days, then 90 days, but eventually, they decided the safest option was to bring the astronauts back on SpaceX's Crew Dragon instead. This was a huge failure for Boeing. Instead of proving that Starliner was a reliable alternative to SpaceX, it showed that the company still couldn't get things right. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.